Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations in the digital infrastructure space. I'm Allison Whelan, and joining me is Augustino Villella, Chief Technical Officer and VP of Engineering and Sustainability Ambassador for Scala Data Centers. Augustino, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you for having us. Uh, thanks for having me. As a matter of fact, I'm flattered to be here. Of course. So Scala has experienced a remarkable journey, rising to prominence in the Latin American hyperscale market over the last three years. Can you share what factors contributed to that growth? A number of factors have contributed, but I would like to point out at least uh, three of them. First, the fact that uh, we have followed the playbook where we focus on, mostly on hyperscalers uh, in single tenant buildings. It's an approach that's pretty different from our competition, which has tried to sort of have a hybrid approach of mixing hyperscalers with enterprise clients, which are very different clients. So the fact that we have been sort of uh, focused pure play uh, has allowed us to sort of differentiate ourselves. Um, secondly, the fact that we do uh, build to plan as opposed to build to order, which means we don't wait for everything to be secured in order to start building. Uh, that kind of gives us a head start because this is a, this is a business about time to market. Time to market is, is really the utmost thing is business, more important than anything else. So you're able to have something readily available for a client. It's really king. It really determines whether you get the deal or not. And thirdly, the fact that we are very verticalized in the sense that we control soup to nuts in this, bu this business. Uh, we have 900 employees. We have more than 400 engineers, more than all of our com competition combined. Uh, so we're able to basically uh, design and build by ourselves, basically. You know, we don't have to uh, resort to third parties. And that gives us a lot of flexibility, ability to build faster, and ability to customize very quickly. Yeah, all key factors, customization, and keeping that in-house, yeah. So AI is a hot topic. How is Scala utilizing AI to keep up with the growing demand for high-density computing power? Uh, it's interesting because at the same time, AI is benefiting us in terms of demand, but um, uh, to your question, it's also th something we need to leverage as a tool. Uh, there are a number of ways we're seeing AI. Uh, the most basic one is resorting to uh, uh, computer vision to basically uh, control as access to sensitive areas like mechanical rooms, electrical rooms, and such. Uh, uh, going uh, uh, upwards, we are using AI for things like uh, pre-processing, uh, basically, a uh, technical proposal, which is something that's very time-consuming of our engineers, so that we can actually uh, screen a technical proposal to make sure it adheres to a uh, uh, technical specification. And we're also uh, being a pioneer in using generative AI to actually do designs. Uh, just to give an idea, uh, a test fit, which normally takes three to five days to do to assess the constructive potential of, of a plot of land, we now are able to do it in seconds, okay? And we're now moving to the stage where we can do conceptual designs, which normally take up to two weeks, again, in seconds. We expect to do, be able to do that uh, so this year. And probably next year, we're gonna start doing BIM, uh, building a, 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 a information model, uh, probably using generative AI as well. And, and BIMs might take weeks to, to design. And again, we, we expect to be able to do it in seconds. So this is the kind of impact we expect from AI. So it's not just something that providing uh, workloads for us, providing demand, but also something that's really uh, uh, changing in, in a very revolutionary way with the way we work. And how has the adoption of AI influenced the skill sets within the data centers for your employees? Uh, I think it influences in the sense that you're going to have people more sophisticated. Uh, people might tend to think that because of AI, you can actually have uh, uh, less educated employees, but it's actually the opposite because uh, you, you have more older automation, but on the flip side, you need to have more critical thinking, which means you're not going to leave everything to the computer, to the automation. You actually have uh, the final decision also has to be made by, by engineer, be it at the operation level, be it at the design level. At the end of the day, I want to have a human being reviewing what's being done. I, I want to just remove the toil from their uh, workload, from their time. I want to really uh, uh, save their time for, for critical, thing, critical thinking, for noble things. So, yes, it, it requires a different set of skills in the sense that we actually have, need to have more educated people. Yeah. And what do you believe is the most profound way that AI is reshaping the industry? And what broader implications does this have for the future of data centers? I think uh, the, the, the two more impactful ways that I can think of is first, as I mentioned, the fact that we can mechanize a number of things, be it in design, be it in operation, be it in processing uh, 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 technical proposals and so forth. So again, removing the toil and making us more productive. And secondly, maybe most important, the fact that it has uh, 
increase tremendously our our uh, competitive uh, annual growth rate. You know, uh, I mean, the, the the event of ChatGPT OpenAI last year was a black swan event that has basically taken the industry by storm. Like it has created a backlog of three years of construction. So like a uh, presentation I just heard today earlier, uh, we all have our jobs secured for three years at the very least. <laughs> you know? So, I mean, this is probably the most revolutionary thing that has uh, caused us. Obviously, it requires us to rethink things like cooling and powering because we used to be uh, coping with racks of, of densities of 10 to 20 kilowatts. And now th there are people talking about 300 and I heard today 400 kilowatts. So it's a total revamp on the way you do uh, cooling, you do uh, powering of the racks. So you have to rethink design. But fortunately, uh, Scala has done a great job in terms of uh, doing future proofing of data centers, of creating design, more than just statement direction, really creating designs, crafting designs that we can incorporate in the, the data centers that we're building right now in future data centers. And to some extent, even data centers that already exist to retrofit them to some extent. I mean, it's a key theme here at the event. It's obviously here to stay. It seems like it's going to be something that we're talking about for a while. But thank you so much, Agostino, for joining us. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV Live here at DCD Connect Virginia. Happy networking. Thank you. My